Hello everyone. All of the astronomy courses at Grand Rapids Community College use OpenStax Astronomy as our principal reference textbook. I wanted to show you how to access the textbook on OpenStax.org and some of the cool abilities that OpenStax has recently added to their online textbooks. So first of all, you need to create an account. It will be a student account when you sign up. Uh, you choose student and you just have to give them an email address. We recommend your GRCC email address, but you can use any of them. And once you have an account, you can log in. Once you have logged into OpenStax, it will show you that um, you're a known person to them. And you can get directly to the book uh, using the link that should be posted in your course blackboard. But if you wanna make sure that you're finding the right book, you can click on science. And we are using the astronomy book here on OpenStax.org. So this link here, OpenStax.org slash details slash books slash astronomy, should be accessible from your course Blackboard. And you can always just write down that um, URL directly. But I wanted to point out a couple of things on this landing page. First of all, there are a lot of different ways to access the textbook. And there are two that we highly recommend. First of all, a PDF version of the book is never a bad thing to have downloaded to your device if you have the space for it, because that way you can access the textbook even when you don't have um, Wi-Fi. And so one time when you're on um, a Wi-Fi network that has uh, good data, you can download the PDF and then you have access to it. The other thing I want to point out about the PDF that not everybody recognizes right away is that the table of contents at the beginning are clickable links. So if I wanted to get to the universe on the large scale, I could just click on it and it would bring me to that section. The other thing that not everyone knows um, that you can do is you can type, um, if you hit Control and F at the same time, you can type in something and find all of the times that it is referenced in the book. So I've typed in Milky Way Galaxy. We see that the first time is in the table of contents, but there's 144 times that the book uses the entire phrase Milky Way Galaxy. So the, the PDF is quite user friendly. It has those clickable links. You can control F, you can copy and paste, um, content directly, and it should be accessible through a screen reader. The other method that we recommend, though, is the view online method. One of the big reasons why we really like this particular formatting is that you can take notes with the textbook and save those notes. So for example, to let you know that they're saved from one time to another, I highlighted two different parts of this introduction in chapter one. I also noted, um, I made a note to myself, neutron stars are in chapter 23. That's what this particular um, sentence is talking about. Cosmic background radiation is in chapter 29. And so one thing that we can note here is that when you are going through and making highlights, what you do is you highlight, click and drag, and you can choose a color for that highlight. So you can write any note to yourself that you want to. When you are doing these notes, and you don't even have to add a note to yourself, the highlighting will still be there. If you go up into this upper right corner, my highlights, it shows you everything that you have done with the book. And one of the really cool things about it is that if you were using purple for a very particular set of notes, you can just look at those purple notes, or you can look at purple and yellow together, or you can look at all of them, and basically make a list of key things to, to look back at. If you only want to look at the chapter four notes and not any of the other chapters, then you can do that as well. The very best thing that you can um, do with all of this is whatever combination of things that you wanted. So maybe you don't want those pink notes, but you want all the other colors 
and maybe you don't want the chapter 15 note, but you want the other chapters. Once you've kept those um, key filters, you can then save as a PDF or print directly all of the notes that you made that fit those categories. And then you can have them be a very clear and specific set of notes to yourself as you're reading. The other thing is if you realize that you don't want one of the particular notes, maybe you don't care about the Mayans um, being able to know where Venus was, you can delete that entirely. That is not a process that you can undo, so be careful there. Or if you want to edit a particular note, um, maybe add the term that it's describing or de defining, then you can edit later on in time as well. This landing page, openstacks.org slash details slash books slash astronomy, will bring you to all of the different ways that you can access the book. There's an app as well um, for um, Android and um, Apple OS, iOS phones. There's other things you can do too. If you have a Kindle, you can download it, things like that. And even if you log out, you can still access all of those different versions. You don't have to create an account in order to access any of these. You can download the PDF without being logged in. You can view the book online without logging in too. The one big difference is that if you want to take notes or save your notes, you must be logged in for that functionality. We look forward to working with you, and if you ever have questions about the book, um, please feel free to email your instructor, and hopefully this was a helpful introduction. Thanks.